Hello, hello, hello. Today I'm jumping on and I'm being joined by the lovely Michelle. And she is going to chat to you guys about her experience inside the round, first round of my group program, Liberated Womb, which ran in June. And I'm just going to let her in now. about what you can expect from this program and her experience. So I'm very excited to welcome her in. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Cool, cool. Thank you so much for coming on to chat to me. I really appreciate your time and your willingness from the bottom of my heart. I'm so grateful. So yeah, maybe you just want to start by telling the audience a little bit about yourself, where you are in the world, your age, and what led you to joining this program. Wow. Okay. So... I'm in the UK, so I'm based in the UK, in the lovely part of Cornwall. Um, I'm 50 next year, so I'm highly perimenopausal, I would say. Um, and joining the programme, um, you know what, I just wanted to get to know my womb, I think. Um, I come from the generation where you just got up and got on with things, but there was just so much more to um connection to my womb that i wasn't getting that's not talked about does that make sense yeah yeah beautiful and what were some of the challenges you experienced through this disconnection do you think trust i think trust in your own body in your own wisdom um mm. that's huge yeah it's it's a huge one i think that's the main thing and that's something i'm still working on um it's a journey and it's going to be a journey for for a while but it's it's a journey i think that's needed and i think it's needed for for most people to trust your own wisdom your own body because your body knows the own way it's just um learning to trust it and listen listening is another thing <laughs> yeah yeah Totally. And so what was, maybe you can share a little bit more on how, you know, what was your overall experience inside this course and what's, how did you find that this course specifically impacted your life? This course is still impacting my life, Jose, I think is the overall answer I would like to give. Mm. Um, so being in the course, was incredible the the women the group of women that i was with there was just so much um medicine from each and every one of them they were all individual but we're all were there for the same the same reason and that was you know connection to our room our wombs but we've come from different different journeys and different lifestyles but it was just that one connection to our wombs that made it such a a potent container to be in i think um we all, all just bounced off each other it was amazing amazing bunch of women um and to be fair i'm revisiting the course so although i went through the course with you and the the bunch of women i'm now going back because it's so layered and you can go so deep with it that i'm revisiting the course and i'm just peeling back lots of layers that the journey's taken me on so yeah it's it's a profound and incredible sometimes scary um emotional journey yeah uh, beautiful and what are some of the the changes you've seen in your life since you know since we ended this course and having integrated and now going back you know what are some of those layers and things that you are picking out and you know that are revealing themselves to you so 
I think trusting myself a little bit more. I'm not there a hundred percent. Um, trusting myself a little bit more, trusting my own, um, my own sense of being, my own inner knowing. I think my own womb wisdom mm. is what I would like to say. My own womb wisdom, because th there was such a disconnection between myself and my womb. You know, it's just that. That's the biggest thing. It's trust in my womb, and every day now i still do the womb heart connection breath every day i get up and i do that that's my first thing in the morning to do oh beautiful yeah i love that and in your own world and your definition what is your definition of womb wisdom what does that mean to you so i think it's part of your psyche for me your womb holds so much wisdom so much information not only for you, but from your ancestry and past lives and your soul, and it's all there. And I really, really believe that if we all deep dive into that wisdom that we hold in ourselves, we can start our healing journey. I'm not saying it's going to replace the medical, um, you know, system or, or anything, you know, because I'm on medication. I need my medication some days, but I would like to think one day that I'm able to come off all of that because I'm listening to my body, my womb for what that wants me to do. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. And um, how do you feel like, you know, what has shifted in your personal life and your relationship to your body, to your womb, to your feminine energy and to your sexuality? What have you seen? What are the shifts you've seen take place? The changes, however small or big. Um, I think it's baby steps. I think trust is the is the one thing that's changing for me. It's learning to to trust my body and read the signs of my body. Um, I know my body better than anybody. Um. I know we've spoken about, you know, I, I have some current UTIs and um, that was the one thing I would wanted to connect to my womb to try and get to the bottom, the root cause of it, because we're just treating the symptoms as we go along with most things. Um, but I know there's a root cause and it's trusting myself enough to get to that root cause and trust in the journey. And I think from anything at this moment in time, it's the trust that I am able to do that. Yeah, beautiful. And how how does it feel now to be in your body having, you know, done some of this work versus before? And like you said, you're doing this heart womb meditation, which is the foundation of everything I teach. Like, how is that changing the way that you show up in your day, changing your, you know, just your, your energy, your mood, your emotions, your mental health. How, how is, how do you think that has changed and is impacting and is reflecting in your everyday life? Again, it's a journey, Josie. I think some days are better than others. I think we're all, all um, conditioned to not trust our bodies and not trust the way we feel is right um so some days is better than others absolutely like i said it's a journey it's an ongoing journey and it will be for a for a long long time um but some days i get up and i feel like i've got my shit together other days i don't but it's in in, in your course you teach um just embodiment and movements and dance and before I was like, oh, my God, I can't do that. You know, if the neighbours see me, they think I'm really, you know, mental or whatever. But now coming from work some days, I put um, a song on and I just move. I just flow. And it's so liberating and so freeing. And it's what's needed to shift that stuck energy. It's it's those little tiny things that makes the biggest difference. Beautiful. Yeah. And how do you think, you know, this has impacted your relationship with your friends, your family, your partner, your colleagues? Um, they, I think they might get fed up with me talking about 
um, <laughs> room heating and <laughs> and things you can do to help yourself and natural ways and um, all that. But I just I just talk spout spout it all the time. Have you thought about this? Have you tried this? And <laughs> yeah. so yeah, you could do this healing. Yeah. You want to share it because you see how much how it has on your own life that you can't help but wanting to share it and share the wisdom with people in your life absolutely that's so, so beautiful and that's so empowering and um yeah what was your what do you what was your favorite parts of this course do you think my favorite part of the course mm, that's really hard um I'm going to have to say the womb heart breath because I do that daily, no matter what. Um, and I think that's, that's enabled the connection with my womb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and how do you think you benefit from being connected to your womb now in that way, by making that daily connection possible? It's grounding first thing in the morning. I think that's why I do it in the morning. It grounds me. Um, even sometimes during the day i'll i'll grab go to the toilet and i'll just, just breathe and it grounds me again it's an ongoing journey like, like i said before and sometimes you just you don't think about it you're so wrapped up in the moment but those times that i do think right okay i need to step out i need to go and do this it helps to reground me um brings my energy back into me so i'm not all out here and frazzled yeah and that in itself is huge for some people. It's huge for yeah. me. Yeah, it's huge for all of us because we're spending so much time on the computer and talking and analyzing and thinking that we forget that to bring the energy back to our center, to bring it back to our body, to ground it, to be present. And yeah, for me, that's also been such a huge, huge benefit of doing this work um and so maybe why do you think for a woman who's hearing about this for the first time who doesn't know what womb wisdom is who has no idea that she should be connected to her womb on a daily basis because like you've said you know you make this connection daily you prioritize it daily and so one of the huge things that i love to teach my clients and to anyone listening is that the, you know it's the womb is not just there for you to connect when you're bleeding or when you're on your cycle or when you're having sex or when you're emotional. It's like every single day we need to make this connection. And that's the most empowering thing is to remind women that your womb is there to connect with you always, not just when you need something from her. And I think that's also a massive change in mindset and in perspective of, you know, your body will give, to you what you put back into it you know and it's this beautiful cyclical reciprocal relationship instead of having this extractive um you know codependent relationship with our bodies we can have this interdependent co-creative beautiful relationship that's a give and a take you know so we're not just taking the energy from our bodies and taking from our sensuality and taking you know the pleasure it's like we put in that to our bodies and our bodies can give that back to us absolutely absolutely it's i think i would like to see everybody learn this heart womb connection at least because it just gives you so much it's the, it's the starting place i think for all for all womb wisdom healing i really really do it's changed it's changed me in my energy and the way i look at things it's beautiful and so why do you think other women should take this course it's like i said it's it's a journey we're so conditioned to see outside of ourselves for all the answers all the times and i was there you know sometimes some days i still am there you look for that that person or that thing that's going to tell you how to do something when actually it's inside you already you've just mm. got to trust yourself enough to to listen and to trust um you know and I'm perimenopausal, I'm nearly 50, and one of my concerns when I did this course with you before was, am I too old? You know, my cycles are all over the place. You know, is it going to benefit me? 
Oh my God, yes, absolutely. So if any perimenopausal women are out there thinking, I don't know whether this is for me, just, just do it. Jump in. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. It doesn't matter how old you are. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you so much for saying that. And I think it's really important for women of all ages to realize that it's, it's never too late to start this journey. It's never too late to start connecting with your feminine energy, to start connecting with your body, to start connecting with this part of yourself that you have been disconnected from your whole life. And so thank you so much for saying that. Um, and yeah one last thing is there any yeah is there any last things you would like to share or say or how this course has impacted you um i mean what what do you gain from listening to your body in this way that's huge i think i think what you gain is personal to you i think mm. um you gain what you you give give to your body is i think you said that earlier as well you gain what you give to your body once you start trusting your own journey things will change there's no doubt about that things will change and i think um this is a course that you can go back to over and over and over again because you'll just peel another layer off another part of your journey um it's just just amazing I can't, I can't say any more than that. People should just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Michelle. I really, really appreciate your time and your willingness to come on and chat to everyone. And yeah, many blessings on your journey. Thank you so much. And I'm so proud of you and your dedication to doing this work. I mean, the fact that I'm hearing that you do this woo meditation every single morning, that just honestly lights me up so much and i'm so proud of you for dedicating that time to yourself every morning and to yeah dedicating um space and time and energy to connecting with your womb and uh, i'm sure and i know it's going to honestly just roll forward and bring and re and reap you so many more rewards still to come so thank you so much i appreciate you from the bottom of my heart thank you, thank you jc much love bye chat soon <laughs>